Hey everyone, Fluff I'm off to Lens here. In today's video, I'm gonna to try to recreate some friends from some of our favorite movies and specifically try to replicate their look using Film Convert's Nitrate. You know that I've been using Film Convert for years now and I grade pretty much all my work with it. So recently they approached me and gave me a little exercise. They asked me if I could recreate the grades from some movies that were shot using film stocks available in Nitrate. So in this video, I will go over several frames and see how close I can get. Film Convert is also having a massive sale this week for Black Friday and my code to get 10% off works in addition to that so be sure to check out the link in the description. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this one and let's jump into it. A few notes before I start, so for this exercise I try to grade within nitrate as much as possible for the purpose of this video to see what could be achieved from scratch. I think using my own presets as a start can influence me too much. For the frames I chose a mix of landscape and city as well as warm and cold looks. Keep in mind that my footage is a lot higher resolution than the actual frames that I pulled. Since there was a lot of back and forth, I prefer to explain how I did it after the fact rather than doing a 20 minute live session per frame because in that case the video would be either too long or there wouldn't be enough examples. So for all the frames I use an overlay and letterbox effects and even crop some of them to make sure that I could get an accurate framing in order to match the chosen frame. I spent actually a few hours trying to find the right frames uh, because I knew that I actually visited a few of the movie locations such as Iceland and Paris from the list of films that they had sent me. So I found the frames on filmgrab.com which is a very awesome website and very useful that I use actually for shoots for to find reference frames or just for myself. Also, since I was copying a look, um, the step that I took in order to get there are not necessarily the right way to go about grading. If you want to have a look at my actual grading process, uh, feel free to watch the color grading video I made earlier this year, it'll be linked below. So the grading process is kind of similar for all those frames, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it in depth for the first few, and then for the last few, I'm going to focus on what makes them different, if that makes sense. One, Hateful Eight. Whilst it isn't my favorite Tarantino movie, I love the cinematography and locations. This is the reference that I chose, this is my final one, here it is in log, and grade it again. And here are the two side by side. We are now in Final Cut Pro using the Nitrate plugin. Like I said before, I added an overlay to match the ratio. There is quite a dark and very grainy look to them. So the first thing that I did was pick the Blackmagic 6K pack at the top and select the film stock KD5207. Then I lower the exposure by quite a bit. You can see how dark the movie frame is. Here is a mix I chose when it comes to the film emulation. By the way, Scene to PFE stands for Cineon to Print Film Emulation. I put the grain at 100 and in 35mm Academy to emulate a film look. In the frame, you can see cold shadows and warm highlights, so I did the same. I lowered the shadows and midtones by a significant amount and the saturation is increased quite a bit to make the blues pop. I also played around with luma curves to get a bit of the contrast back. And I also added some vignette in Final Cut Pro to add a final touch. This is a before and after. Then I decided to also apply the settings to another frame. I copy and pasted the adjustment, but this time it was much darker, so I decided to lower the exposure by quite a bit as well, and the shadows and midtones are also colder. So here you have the before and the after for this one. Overall I'm pretty happy with these two, and they are the first two that I started with. 2. Walter Mitty This is one of my favorite feel-good movies, and I'm a huge fan of Iceland as you know. This is a reference frame that I chose, this is my final one, here it is in log, graded, and here are the two side by side. For this one I adjusted the exposure before getting into nitrate as I could tell that the highlights of my files were quite bright. I used the exposure tool and the color curves in Final Cut. This time I selected the Mavic 2 Pro pack. First thing is I lowered the exposure by a fair bit. Then I increased the color temperature and I also lowered the film color to 82. The grain was also left at 100. Again, I added some blues in the shadows and mids and some warmth to the highlights.
For this one, I used a luma curve quite a bit to add some contrast. I did also add some more contrast within Final Cut to match the road part especially. And finally, again in Final Cut, I changed the back mountains hues from purple to greeny blue. Here's the before and the after. For this second one, it was mainly about contrast and tint. The second frame was also pretty much the same location as the one featured in the movie. As you can see, I barely touched exposure or temperature, but I lowered the tint. I even decreased the grain amount. Again, I added some blues in the shadows and warm thinner highlights. And I created some contrast using the Luma Curve. And as I did before, I also went to Final Cut to add more contrast. Here's the before and after. 3. The Place Beyond the Pines I love this movie. The acting, tone, story, music and of course, the cinematography. This is the reference frame that I chose, my final one, the log version, grade it again, and here are the two side by side. This one was very different and quite tricky because of the strong look and the lights. They are similar in exposure, but Ryan Gosling is very dark and lit from the side, and my wife is also lit from the side, behind and the front. For the overall look, I aim to keep the bright light as a reference. The red and blues on the side of the movie frame can also be hard to ignore, but I did my best not to focus too much on them. The main differences for this one is that I completely decreased the temperature to minus 100 and the tint to minus 45. I also upped the grain on this one to 120. And when you combine the grain with the previous settings, this gives you a pretty similar look already. Here's a before and after so far. Again, I added some blues in the shadows and warm thinning highlights. But I didn't touch the luma curve this time. But I did go to Final Cut to lower the white balance even more to 4600. And I also changed the hue of the ground slightly to go from this to that and added some contrast again. Here's the before and the after. 4. Inception Another movie I love and despite the crazy story and style, this one is actually quite mild in terms of look. This is a frame that I chose, here are the two that I'm going to work with, here are my two final one, and here are the two side by side. So as you can see, this frame is more subtle, less of a look. Again, I tried to pick a very similar frame and this time it is in Paris and again very close to the actual location. You can tell though that my highlights are way higher, so I did try to adjust that before I even started the grade, within Final Cut. I used the same method as before, but I didn't change as much even for the exposure. I did change the tint to green to match the overall cast in the movie. And I did rely on Luma Curve a bit more. I actually really like this look that I created for this one and I might save it for future videos of my own. Then I decided to apply this look to another frame to get the buildings to match a bit more this time. So the buildings are more colored in the movie as you can see, which threw me a bit at first. So I used final cut and changed the color of the sky and the buildings slightly. I actually think that this final one looks more similar than the movie, but let me know what you think. Here's the before and after. And also here's the look that I created for my own Paris video compared to this one. This gives you an idea of how different grading can be. And lastly, the imitation game. Another great movie with an amazing story and cinematography. This is a reference frame that I chose. Here's my final one, the log version, grade it again, and here are the two side by side. So first of all, the road in the movie is a lot warmer. So for this one, I increased the temp since the movie has a warm tone to it and also didn't use as much as the scene to PFE and left it at 75. I also lower the amount of grain. I used the luma curve again for some contrast and saturation was increased to 125. I had to use a hue saturation curve in Final Cut to bring down the grain and adjust them. Here's before and after. 
My system is also a lot more tan, which changes the overall look a bit. And Benedict is also more exposed to light in that shot, and the light seems to be more overcast. Overall, I still think it looks pretty close, but let me know what you think. So as you can see, Nitrate gets you already pretty close by choosing the right film pack and film stock. So with this exercise, I found it actually a lot harder to match someone else's look than actually create my own. When I shoot, I usually have a look in mind, whether it's for a documentary or travel piece. This exercise also made me notice how dark movies actually are. Um, when you compare the waveforms, obviously this is pulled just from frames, but um, when you actually look at the waveform, you can see how low in exposure they actually are. All in all, this was a very fun exercise and I actually love some of the looks that I've created trying to match those frames, so I'm actually gonna keep them and try to use them in future projects. That's it for me for today, guys. Hopefully you found this video both helpful and entertaining and let me know in the comments what kind of film look you'd like to recreate. And again, don't forget to check out the link below to get 10% off. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.